guy's got a really impressive resume. Please welcome Mr. Julian Vasquez. Julian Vasquez, folks, there he is. Thank you, thank you very much. Well, how about a big round of applause for MC Charlie, huh? Yeah. And all the comedians we have tonight, yeah, and yourselves for being here all the way from Chicago. Yeah. It's a very special night because, well, I'm breathing, you know. <laughs> Something my uh, ex-wife doesn't like me doing, but uh, I'm never going to make her happy. <laughs> Life is good. You know, it is a special night because I got my high school friends here. Yeah, from John Marshall. Yeah. My very, very good friend, my producer, a producer I've been, I was in a film with him, and my cousins. Love you guys. Love you guys. Very special night. Yeah. Life is good. Uh, about five years ago, it wasn't so good. I was, uh, couldn't pay my bills. I was out of a job. I was actually looking at corners where I couldn't sleep, really. Yeah, but, but uh, life is good now. And I, I, thank God I've got money. Thanks for my cousins for letting, helping me out. Uh, and something I really learned is, folks, money does not buy happiness. It buys a lot of sex, <laughs> but not happiness. So I'm settled, you know, I'll never really always be happy, but as long as I have money, I'll, I'll be satisfied. <laughs> yeah, what, do you, what do you gotta do, what are you gonna do? <laughs> and, uh, well, you're, you're probably looking at me and think, well, is this, is this guy Japanese or what? Hi, konnichiwa. Mondai tosha Yamamoto-san. You know, I, I wasn't sure what that meant, but I saw that in the film, Tora, Tora, Tora. <laughs> <laughs> and, and thanks, Ephraim, for interpreting. It means, oh, we make a big mistake here. Yeah, I'm really on my mud all. And the rest is history. Yeah, you might think I'm Chinese. Ni hao, ni hao ma. No? And let me tell you, all my grandparents are born in Mexico. My father was born in Mexico. My mother was born in El Paso, uh, Mexico. Yeah. And I was born in L.A., can you believe it? Yeah, woo! Used to shine shoes in downtown L.A., lived in Echo Park. Man, what a life. From that to being a Marine Lieutenant Colonel, flying F-4 Phantoms, huh? Life is good. <laughs> so I'm not Asian. I never got straight A's. <laughs> and I'm not a slow driver. <laughs> but okay. Okay, like uh, Charlie said, I am an engineer, so maybe I have a little bit of Asian in me. <laughs> I get almost got straight A's. I've done a lot of engineering work, a lot of engineering work, my, and I've done a lot of digital design engineering work. So uh, for uh, maybe you have some engineers here, that's in the world of ones and zeros, ones and zeros, binary world, right? So all my jokes are binary. They're either funny or they're not. <laughs> <laughs> And, and I, love, I love all these electronic gadgets. I think Audi makes a car now. You push a button and it parallel parts for you. I almost bought one. <laughs> I did. But uh, I, you know, I know technology grows exponentially, so I want to wait till I have a button that cuts somebody off the freeway. <laughs> yeah. But it'll be OK, because on the back of the car, it'll say automatically cut off switch, you know? So I don't know that. And what else? I've got a, a couple of daughters. One lives in New York, one lives in Colorado Springs. And I love visiting my daughter in Colorado because I'm a law-abiding citizen and marijuana is legal there. Oh. <laughs> what was that, Washington? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Colorado has come up with a designer GPS for marijuana smokers, no kidding. It's called the GPS 420. And it sounds something like this. In the next 1.2 miles, take exit 24, Evergreen Parkway, continue north and proceed to... <laughs> oh, where are we going, man? <laughs> and at 1.30 in the morning, it takes you to the nearest Taco Bell. 9.95. And you could get them at the nearest, uh, the nearest, uh, it's, it's next to the Taco Bell, man. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but California has its own designer GPS. It's called the nagging GPS. It tells you what to do every two minutes until, unless you upset it. Then it won't tell you anything for a whole week. 
unless you figure out why you're upset it, which you never will, but not to worry, 30 days later, it'll wake you up at 2 o'clock in the morning and tell you what you did wrong. The nagging GPS. <laughs> not very funny, but <laughs> that's 995 too. Hey, I want to, I want to, <laughs> life is good. I, I, I want to share this with you. I'm celebrating eight years of being cancer free. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. You might, you might see that my neck and face is a little bit distorted, but uh, that's good. It matches my personality. Okay. <laughs> we did chemo. We did uh, radiation uh, and resveratrol. I took a lot of resveratrol and cut my uh, treatment short, so I'm really happy. So you might, you might, this is my bucket list, doing comedy. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. And singing is too. Singing. That's life. That's life. That's what all the people say. You're riding high in April, shot down in May. But I know I'm gonna change that too. When I'm back on top, ha, back on top in June. <laughs> Thank you, Mitchell. <laughs> yeah. How do you like me now, cancer, huh? Yeah, I got your cancer right. Oh, wait, that was stupid. Uh, thank you so much for that. Uh, appreciate it. I, I, and you're going to be happier for me when I tell you not only am I a cancer survivor, I'm also an ex-wife survivor. <laughs> well, okay, not quite. I don't think I'll ever be in remission of that. You know, she's going to be around for a while. We tried chemo. <laughs> we tried radiation. Dri Drive-bys. <laughs> You'll be around for a while. But I got some beautiful daughters and beautiful granddaughters, so I thank God for that. That's, that's great. And I'm single. <coughs> thank you for that indifference. <laughs> and... <laughs> Uh, it's, not, it's not easy dating. I, I dated a lawyer for a little while, but man, that, that cost me. <laughs> $500 every time I called her. And, and, and I am now a member of the Senior Citizens Group. So, And ladies, uh, don't let this vintage look keep you from this hard body and passionate heart. Because you know what they say about seniors? Once you go senior, you... You... Uh, <laughs> help me here. What, what happens? <laughs> that's, the, that's the first thing that goes. Oh man, I do. I did. Uh, I do. I did some work for NASA. I started uh, putting a camera in their uh, F-18, and uh, it, engineering has been great for me. Engineering and entertainment. Who knows why? But uh, the nice thing about NASA is not only uh, the, the engineering work and the aviation. I, I did fly in the Marine Corps. I, I did actually the same thing that Goose did in the F-14, except I did in the F-4. So it was from a from a. <laughs> a gang member in high school, <laughs> and I like to <laughs> go figure. But uh, you also get to see trends in space, so uh, I found out that India is going to support the space station. They're launching a 7-Eleven up there. <laughs> I can just hear it now. Houston, we've got the problem. No more sluppies. <laughs> That's my time. Thank you, folks. Thank you.